Have you been rejecting God? There's a story in the book of Acts that we're going to read in Acts chapter 7 when there's a man named Stephen. Stephen was a preacher filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with the anointing of God, and he was preaching to his own people. But the Bible says that they rose up some people against him to make up lies about him to try to get him out the city. They hated what he was preaching because he was preaching Jesus Christ. And eventually they wanted to kill him. So this is what happened. Stephen begins to preach. And he begins to tell these people how God has always been trying to reach them since the calling of Abraham, their ancestor. But then look what happens. The people, he goes all the way down from Abraham all the way to Jesus. And he shows them how they crucified Jesus. And then look what he tells them here. Because there were people that from generation to generation, everything that God had tried to do in their life, they rejected it and they killed the prophets. So finally, look what Stephen says here. Acts chapter 7, verse 51 through 53. Are you rejecting God? Are you this stiff-necked person that Stephen is speaking about? And look what he says to these people. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears. You always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did so. So do you. Which of the prophets did your fathers not persecute? And they killed those who announced forehand the coming of the righteous one, whom you have now betrayed and murdered, you who received the law as delivered by angels and did not keep it. So Stephen is telling these people, man, you and your people have been rejecting the Holy Spirit for a long, long time. And he says, resisting. You've been resisting the Holy Spirit. I want to ask you a question. Are you resisting the Holy Spirit? I'm pretty sure this ain't the first Christian video that you've seen. I'm pretty sure this isn't the first time that you've heard about Jesus. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video talking about the rejecting of God, rejection of the Holy Spirit, I'm pretty sure God has been reaching out to you for a long, long time. Let me give you an example. My father, at the age of 31, he reached the point of being very low. He was addicted to drugs, addicted to alcohol. He was losing his marriage. My mother hated him. He was losing his job. He was losing his mind. He was already hallucinating, talking to himself because of the drugs that he was using. He wouldn't sleep for days at a time. And he had reached a low, low place where rehabs, psychologists, psychiatrists, being locked up, nothing can change his life when he was 31. But about five to six years before that low, low point, one day here in Houston, Texas, he had just finished scoring some drugs because he was addicted to drugs at that time. He had just finished scoring some drugs and he was walking down a real well-known street here in Houston called Houston Avenue, close to downtown. And he heard an accordion playing. Now for anybody who's Mexican, accordion is something very popular in the Mexican culture. So he thought it was a beer joint. And he's walking in there, he thinks he's gonna have a good time, get drunk, get high, because he hears the accordion playing. But when he walks in there, he realizes it's a church. It was a small storefront church right there on Houston Avenue here in Houston, Texas. And he walks in there and he gets scared because he sees people clapping, praising God. They're singing songs and he walks out. And as soon as he walks out, a young man runs up to him. My father at that time was maybe 25. The young man at that time was probably 19, 21. The young man runs up to my father and says, hey, 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 hey. You didn't walk into the church by accident. God is calling you. But my father, full of arrogance, full of pride, he was addicted to drugs. He didn't have, he wasn't saved. He didn't have the Holy Spirit living inside of him. Full of pride, he answers that young man, man, I got all I need right here. And he was talking about the drugs that he had in his hand. And he ignored that young man. But years later, about five years later, he reached rock bottom. And now my father is saved. Now my father is transformed. Now my father is a preacher of the word of God. And now he can see that God had been trying to reach him for a long, long time. But my father, just like these people, was resisting the Holy Spirit. And I want to tell you the same thing. Do not resist the Holy Spirit. And one thing that Stephen said, he said the story of Joseph. How Joseph was betrayed by his own brothers and they threw him in a pit and then they sold him as a slave to Egypt. But then Joseph eventually became the mightiest man in Egypt. And Joseph was the one that ended up rescuing his family and saving their lives from starvation. But he was rejected, but he ended up being the ruler. That's the same thing with Jesus Christ. He is rejected by many people, but he is the ruler. And today, many people are rejecting Jesus. Why? Because they don't want to recognize their sinners. Because they don't want to surrender their life. Because they don't want to lay down that selfish, self-centered, egotistic way of living. They don't want to admit that Jesus is the Son of God. So they reject them. But whether you reject them today, or reject them tomorrow, or reject them for the rest of your life, one day Jesus will return, and every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. 
The only difference is right now you have an opportunity and the world has an opportunity in this time of grace, in this season of grace that we're living in. Right now you and the world have an opportunity to go to Christ and confess your sins and receive salvation. But if people don't receive Christ right now in this time of grace, one day they're going to confess him and acknowledge him as Lord, but it's going to be too late. They're not going to be acknowledge him out of salvation in their receiving it. No, they're going to be acknowledging Jesus as King of Kings and Lord of Lords as a sign and a symbol of defeat. So today is the time of grace. Today is the time of mercy. Jesus said, I did not come into this world to judge this world, to condemn this world, but I came to the world to save this world. Jesus does not want to condemn you. He does not want to judge you to hell. God does not want to send you to hell. Yes, God is going to point out your sin. Yes, your sins need to be revealed in the presence of God. They need to be exposed. Yes, we do need to confess that without Jesus, you do need to confess that we were dead in our sins and trespasses, that we are sinners. Yes, that is all true. But when you confess that and you surrender that to Jesus, then he in return is able to forgive you, to wash you, and not only forgive you and wash you, but he is able to transform you and completely 100% change you. Going back to the story of Joseph. His brothers sold him. His brothers rejected him. But eventually Joseph became the ruler. And when their brothers humbled themselves to Joseph, Joseph was able to rescue them and save them. Same thing. As long as people reject Jesus Christ, they're going to go through suffering. They're going to go through pain. They're going to go through turmoil. They're going to go through nothing but headaches that might be able to be avoided if you surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Why do I say might? Because there's a lot of things that people go through that are self inflicted because of their bad choices their bad lifestyles living a life of sin they bring those things to themselves but when somebody's walking in jesus when somebody's walking in wisdom they're going to avoid all those things from happening to them because those things were brought on by sin but when you're following jesus christ those things can be avoided when a person when a man when a woman surrenders their life to jesus christ jesus christ can make all things new jesus said all those who the sun sets free is free indeed Jesus said, whoever believes in me will be saved. I want to let you know that today, that if you trust Jesus Christ, if you declare him in your life, you can be set free. You can be saved. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whosoever will believe in him won't perish but have everlasting life. I want to tell you that today. God wants to give you everlasting life through his son, Jesus Christ. Now, stop resisting the Holy Spirit. Surrender to the Lord. And you might have flaws, and you might have errors, and you might have a lot of struggles, and you might have a lot of temptations. But when you surrender yourself to the Lord, He can make you brand new. And just like the book of 1 John says, if you confess your sins, He is faithful and just to forgive you and to wash you. So do that today. Stop resisting the Holy Spirit. And if there's something that needs to be confessed to God, confess it to Him, and He will wash you and cleanse you, and He will walk with you every single day of your life, and He will never leave you never abandon you. I pray this video was a blessing to your life. If it was, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and turn on those notifications so that you can be alerted every time I post a brand new video. And also, if you want to show your appreciation for this video or for this channel, you can do so in one of two ways. The first way looks something like this. It's a feature down there by the share button that looks like this. It's called Super Thanks. Super Thanks are always a great blessing to my life. They're always greatly appreciated. Anything that you feel in your heart to give is a great blessing to me. The second way that you can show your appreciation, and this is on a monthly basis, is called channel memberships. Channel memberships is $5 a month, about $1.25 a week, and in return you get special badges, special stickers, and access to any archive video that I ever post. And I have an archive video right now for channel members called Winning the Battle Against Pornography. If that's a video you're interested in, click the link in my description so you can become a channel member and you'll have access to that video. God bless you. I'll see you soon, Lord willing. Have a blessed day.